Hello everyone, this is Eric Schnipke with Team Suave at the University of Toledo. I'm here to talk to you today about some of the SLAM developments that we've had in our UAV drone project. In this video, we'll see some testing of the implementation of Hector SLAM, which we'll be using for our autonomous flying platform. Hector SLAM leverages the fast refresh rate of modern, modern scanning lasers and relies on scan matching techniques to incrementally build its map. For this approach, no odometry is needed since the algorithm tests for matching scan patterns and if determined to be a satisfactory match, built its map out by a tiny amount before repeating the process. Hector SLAM allows us to create maps at the same speed as the refresh rate of the laser, making it a good fit for highly dynamic applications such as our flying, flying platform. Traditional SLAM approaches require a source of laser scan data as well as an odometry source, which is difficult to obtain for a flying platform. So let's go ahead and look at this video. By now, it's I've started moving there, and we are looking around the corner of the High Bay area at North Engineering at the University of Toledo. Um, so we see that the laser is actually matching different scans of data in a particle filter uh, scenario and it basically needs to have unique objects in its environment for the scan patterns to latch onto, if you will. Uh, if it runs into, a, let's just say, a corridor with smooth walls where it doesn't see anything changing, the axes that you can see there on the map uh, will not move because from its perspective, it's not moving. It doesn't see anything moving. Um, a good analogy to this would be uh, walking through a snow-covered field where you, ca you can't see anything moving, you don't know how far you've walked. But if there's a barren tree out in the center of the field and you start walking through that field, then you can see exactly how far you've gone, judging your progress by how far the tree has moved. So going back to the video, um, essentially right there I am approaching uh, a darkened room so this technique is not dependent on ambient light. It won't work better or worse in highlighting or low lighting situations. So I just take that that laser and kind of peek it into the room. I couldn't actually fit it through the doorway. Um, but I have done previous walkthroughs just holding the laser and I walked inside there and it mapped out really well. So here I am looking for loop completion. We're basically going to peek it through that window to see if we can get it to complete the loop that the laser created whenever I look through the doorway. And we see, yeah, it does really well. Okay, now one downside that we see in this video. If you look on the left hand side of the map that we've generated in that corner area or sorry in the right hand side we see that the diagonal portion of the map did not match up in the final implementation of Hector SLAM we will have an IMU inertial motion unit uh, attached into the algorithm and that helps it to keep better track of its position in space right now it's using solely a scan matching technique solely in optical technique uh, with accelerometers and gyroscopes, it will be able to better estimate its spatial position. So here in this shot we see that it is showing the location of those poles that are sticking out. That would be very important for a flying platform to realize that there are obstacles, even relatively small obstacles such as that. So in this map, the red axis is pointing straight out of the laser, out of the front of the laser. Green is pointing out towards the left, and blue is pointing towards the top. Now we see in this shot right here that the, late, the Hector Slam technique works very well with side-to-side uh, -side movements, as well as just forward and back. Also, rotational movement as well. Right there, I'm trying to map behind that steel structure there. Um, I couldn't fit it back there though. So 
So here again, I'm testing for loop completion. Basically, I'm going to look through this side of those steel structures, and then I'm going to go around to the other side of the steel structure on the left and see if I can get it to match scan. Uh, basically to see if the walls line up where they should be. Okay, so it keeps very good track of how it's rotating as well. And we see, as I suggested before, it has very good loop closure techniques. And there, my computer died. <laughs> okay, and that is it. That is it for the developments uh, with SLAM so far for Team Swab at the University of Toledo. Uh, I look forward to updating our situation as it progresses throughout the semester.